guys, it's Emily with My Closet Rocks. Um, today I'm actually a little excited to get a fake bag for once in my life, um, which happens all the time, but it's rare that I get one that is the same style um, and brand as I, an authentic one I have on hand. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to tell the difference between a fake one, this one, and authentic um, Givenchy Mini Antigona. So, there's a, actually a lot of differences in this bag, although they look fairly um, the same on the surface. If we look a little bit deeper, you're gonna see that there's a lot of um, inconsistencies um, and it's fairly easy to tell if you have a fake or a real bag on your hands. So, first we're gonna look at the dust bag. This is the um, fake dust bag right here. You can see they're very thick letters, um, fairly kind of cheap material. Um, this one right here, this is a lot of more cleaner fabric um, and the spacing and of course the logo is a little bit thinner. So make sure to um, just take a peek at the dust bag, um, it can tell you a couple things. Um, second, let's just look at the shape of this bag. You can kind of see this one's a little bit more round and this one's way more structured. Um, even just by the feel of it, this bag is like, you can squish it really well, and this one you can't. Um, next thing, just look at these logos right here. You can kind of see that um, this one is actually centered, the logo. And this one is towards the top of the little triangle. Something to look for. Right here, the zipper pulls. Um, we've actually got a very kind of cheap plasticky um, zipper pull and it actually has a number on it which I think you know like makes it look more authentic but it's actually not supposed to have a number this one doesn't this one's definitely more of um, it's a smooth silver uh, zipper and this one actually has a line going through it which shows that it's not um, an actual Givenchy um, classic zipper underneath and these pictures will also be in my blog post because I know it's hard to show these on camera um, we'll have an engraved um, logo underneath here. This one actually has it printed on. They look very different. So always check that. Also we're going to look at these um, straps and this actually has a little metal piece on it to keep this um, strap piece um, together. That's not supposed to, they're just supposed to be plain leather if you can see on this one. Um, also this strap is not detachable. This bag was made to have a detachable strap. As you can see on the authentic one, it's gonna have a little dent right here. And then a little opening, you're able to pull that off if you match those up. This is just gone there forever. Um, you're also gonna look at the logo on the side. Every um, Antigona, they all have the little logo on the um, strap. Just because I have it doesn't mean that's authentic. But this one is a lot thicker, um, a lot bigger. This one's thinner and it's way more clean, easier to read. Next, we're gonna look at the screws um, that have these little pointy guys on them. Notice that these screws are, um, or these little pointy things, this one is twice, almost twice the size as this one. Behind, we've got basically the same size screws. These should be, um, have one line going through them. And yes, it does, but this one has a lot more of a cleaner line. Um, this one is kind of, wide and rounded. It's a little bit odd looking. Next, of course, you always want to check the serial number. So both these bags, this being a like relatively good fake, has a serial number inside. So first things first, when I looked at this bag and I got it, I noticed that this tag right here is actually twice the width of my authentic one. You can see that underneath the serial tag. Um, so the serial number, it's going to be a combination of letters and numbers. Um, this one actually only has six. It's supposed to have seven and this one has seven. So actually just, I know it's like a simple thing, but make sure they have the correct amount of characters. Okay. Next thing is the handles. This is actually, you can actually tell just by looking at it. These have longer handles than this one. So if, um, that's actually a really common mistake on a lot of um, mini bags is the, the um, structure and the, the size are totally off. You can also see here, stitching detail. This is a lot more round. This is a lot more structured and angular um, on the little handle base. Um, and you can also see the difference in the stitching. 
This has a more of a uh, kind of diagonal, more machine made. This is more hand stitched looking um, and more straight. If we look at the bottom of the bag, it's pretty much the same. So it's hard to tell from that. Um, and that's pretty much it for um, telling the difference between these two. As you can see, there's just a lot of little details and it's kind of hard. So if you guys have any questions um, about authenticity of a bag you bought or anything like that, feel free to contact me. Um, go on my website, www.my-closet.rocks. This bag is actually for sale, super cute and great for every day. Um, let me know if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching guys.